Ooh, la la. <laughs> the last time we made egg white ice cream and it was amazing and super delicious. So today we are making vanilla custard ice cream. Yeah, and this tastes so amazing. It's so creamy. It melts in the mouth. I call this melting moment. Let's do this. So for this ice cream recipe, you need two large eggs each egg should weigh at least 60 grams so what we need for this is the egg yolk and not the egg white okay for this particular recipe so you break the eggs and this and set the egg white aside and then we are using the egg yolks of these two eggs so to this egg yolk they are going to be adding one over three cup or 65 grams of granulated sugar or caster sugar okay you use any of them can serve well. You cream this thoroughly till it's light and creamy, just as you see in the video. Then you have to set this aside. Now to a separate bowl, you measure in just one tablespoon of custard powder. The normal custard will take us we drink, yeah. Or you can also use normal corn flour, it works fine. So after that, now you get your saucepan ready. To this saucepan or your pot, anyone you want to use, you add in 120 grams or half cup of liquid milk, 210 grams or one cup of whipping cream or heavy cream. So if you are using the whipping cream powder, just dissolve it with some water, then you measure out the, the one cup, okay? Now you have to place this on heat, on low heat, please and let it just get warm you have to be stirring it from time to time once it gets warm take it down from the heat because you don't want it to boil okay you don't allow the milk to boil now once you take it down from the heat now the milk should have a hand felt temperature it's not it's supposed not to be too hot okay now you gently and carefully start using this milk to temper the eggs okay you have to temper the eggs with this warm milk gradually because you don't want to cook the eggs okay you just want to warm the egg bring the eggs to kind of a warm temperature just as the temperature of the milk okay so as you add the the, the milk gradually you mix you mix the egg now to the corn flour also you add part of the the milk use use part of the milk to dissolve the corn flour okay so or the custard powder whatever anyone it serves better <laughs> so after uh, dissolving the custard powder you add the custard powder into the tempered eggs okay or the tempered egg yolks <laughs> so once you add it you you mix everything thoroughly and after that, you're going to be adding the, the remaining part of the, the milk. Add everything, mix everything, let everything mix thoroughly. Yeah. So once everything is thoroughly mixed, we add in one over eight teaspoon salt. So I added one over eight teaspoon salt um, into the mixture. Transfer the mixture back into my, my saucepan or the pot whichever you want to use so transfer it back into the saucepan and we're going to place this back on low heat okay like i said we are not we don't want to cook this we just want to bring it to a, a kind of a hot temperature like that okay so you have to just warm up the milk and once you see once the milk is about to bubble like you're about to see little bubbles take it down from the heat immediately okay because you don't want this milk to you don't want this to cuddle so much so you stir everything and then you sift the whole mixture sift the whole mixture thoroughly because you want to have smooth silky no lump or lump free mixture yeah And here you have it, very creamy, lump-free, smooth and silky. <laughs> so, now this we're going to add in our vanilla flavor, okay? So I added one teaspoon of vanilla flavor 
into this mystery and I missed it thoroughly. So once I was done with the flavoring, I covered this and put in the freezer. Let it stay in the freezer for two to three hours. It depends also on the um, the type of freezer you have, the temperature range and the temperature capability of your freezer. So after the hours, you get your ice cream maker ready. Then you're going to pour in the, the liquid or the ice cream mixture that you have chilled in the freezer into the ice cream maker and start churning the ice cream okay but if you don't have an ice cream maker just get a big bowl uh place some ice in the bowl and then get a stainless bowl pour in the your ice cream mixture in the stainless bowl so you drop in the stainless bowl containing the ice cream into the ice cube bowl and start stirring it will also thicken so like i i said the next thing i i fist in my ice cream maker bitter and then cover the the ice cream maker and it, is, it starts churning so the one i use is the fast churning the second one down is the first one down is the slow churning while the, the one up is the fast churning okay so i churn this for 30 minutes then after 30 minutes i have to put it back in the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes then churn it again okay and that's it my ice cream is almost ready as you can see very thick <laughs> you can enjoy this as it is now but we need to chill it up okay so that it will it will it, it will give us the 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 the, the the thickness and the creamy nature and chill you have to be chill okay very very chill so i transfer this into the ice cream containers and put them in the freezer let them stay in the freezer for up to four hours like also if you don't have an ice cream maker as well you can also just put the ice cream into a ziploc bag then put the the ziploc bag into a container that has a lid and contains ice cubes then you have to just shake 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 everything the ice cream will also um eyes up or what will i say yeah the ice cream will also eyes up okay so after the four hours my ice cream is ready everything set. you can see wow 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 <laughs> why won't you go and try this recipe Try this recipe and let me know in the comment section how it turned out for you. And I know you are going to love it. The taste is wow, excellent. See you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share.